Hey y'all, I'm going to give you a little bathroom tour. Actually, before I do this, I'm showing you a cross stitch collection I made of carrots. It says three carrot, onions, it says breathtaking, and peppers, it says hot stuff. And it's just a pretty collection I have on a wall that's just kinda, you know, there. And then this is a wonderful picture, my very first like home decor piece my mother got me. It's called Groundhog Day. See, look out the little window, how there's a shadow. So you have to decide when you see that. What do you think of that? Do you think it's the groundhog? <laughs> but anyway, I love this picture, mainly because it's my first decor piece. Um, and it was from my mama. Okay, so I may have shown you this before, but um, this is about making a um, warm and welcoming guest bathroom. And so one of the things I'm going to say is, instead of a regular bath mat, pick out some sort of an interesting mat that goes with your floor color. See how this, um, it's kind of an Indian style rug, a Persian rug, and um, it's got the colors of the uh, marble floor, floor tile. And that's actually not real marble. That is a, um, what do you call it? I forget what it's called. Not for my God. I forget, but anyway. Um, it's warmer, <laughs> and I like, I love, fell in love when we were redoing the flooring, fell in love with the colors, and my husband said, babe, that's a little extra, and I said, well, but I feel like it's going to make the difference in the bathroom, and I really do think it does. It just gives a very warm look, but anyway, so that's one thing, and then also, um, really important, when people go to the restroom, um, you need to rescue them. Like, if they've got an upset tummy, you need to have things that will help them. Now, I wouldn't always have a candle lit, but you could. If you did, don't put it next to air freshener since that's flammable. But you could put a, um, a candle out on the sink um, as long as it's away from all your decor. And um, it's just a nice little warm touch. Um, also, having different, um, a couple of choices of different fragrances of room spray. This is the concentrated um Yankee Candle Spray, and I've got it, and I make them seasonal. I usually have three of whatever the season is. So since this is fall, I've got Sparkling Cinnamon, Spiced Pumpkin, and Autumn Wreath, and I think this is one of my favorites. And then the, um, it just kind of, a, this is a Pumpkin Harvest Spice Candle, and I think that's, um, it's called Candle A. I think I got that from Kroger. But also, I put um, a Fresh Wipes option out. This is a Cottonelle, and you literally pop it up, and after you have taking care of yourself, then you also can um, freshen with that because it is flushable. And you can either get Cottonelles, but I also, hold on, let me reach in here and show you. I also use these. This is just the flushable toilet wipes um, for little children, for toddlers, but um, because they're flush, flushable and you can literally use this, this same size for the Cottonelle. I, um, I don't know why I like these better, but I do Cottonelle too. And then guest towels. Well, these are obviously for looks. These are some real fancy guest towels. One, the uh, black crushed velvet with the brocade trim, and then that is a hand-stitched towel my mother made, so obviously I would not want anybody to use that. That's real linen as well. But it's very sentimental to me, so I want it there. I love having a little table in the bathroom for these things, and I chose this piece. It was from Bombay Company before they went out of business, but I just thought this is really uh, controversial, not controversial, conversational. I don't know, like you're really going to have a conversation in the bathroom. And then the other thing, I, I thought it would be interesting to have matching, uh, see how she's got like a shimmery champagne-y um, silver color, and so does this particular um, toilet paper um, holder, and I just loved it because it had a lot of, you know, the little uh, tulip ends. It just kind of had the same feel as her skirt, and so I got this. And then also you can either fold, first of all, always um, put a fresh roll of toilet paper on before guests come. Not have a little, like, um, half roll or something like this. Like, I have a lot of these because of doing that. Um, but then after they leave, I put these back on for us normal people. But anyway, for guests, I always have a full roll um, and I usually either do the folded where you can fold the, the last corner under and make it a point or uh, wrap that around your fingers a few times and then push it through the hole and it makes a little rose and you just leave the last couple of pieces out to look like leaves. And also make sure that you um, see how the roll is a little bent there. Um, fix that so that it rolls even. Make it into a 
you know, hold on, just squeeze it down so it'll be more of a circle, and that way it rolls easier. Little tips like that, and then we also have this beautiful wreath. This is year-round, but I always put something else on it um, to make it seasonal. So right now it has um, pumpkins and fall leaves, but normally it just has the um, pomegranate and hydrangea and uh, leaves, but it is kind of fall-ish, but it really goes year-round. Again, a little candle holder, and uh, if people are here, I put a little tea candle in that. Um, always have a, a cover over your toilet, and always make sure that there is utensils in case somebody has a problem in here. And I always make sure the water's blue. I use the half bleach, half blue um, tabs you can drop in the tank. And then on the back of the tank, I always offer um, little extra soaps. They wouldn't need them, but they're just pretty, and of course, we're going into the Thanksgiving season, so I pulled out my little, um, put up the little pumpkins, and pulled out my little uh, turkey and little boxed soaps and little um, hand towels. And then also, the dogs are going crazy. I always have the Word of God. <laughs> if you want reading material, there isn't any better. So I always have a little Bible bed there. And then this beautiful um, Venice picture. And I love having this, <laughs> I love having this um, trim around year round. I know it's pine, but we, we did it for Christmas one year, and we never took it down just because it's so decorative with the gold um, fruit and bows and everything. We just really liked it, and it went with this kind of copper look. As you can see, my husband painted this and then put Verdi color on there, so it would even look like it was, um, what do you call it, um, uh, patinaed. And then um, just an old, old picture of Venice. This is kind of supposed to be like a Venetian-looking bath room and there is um, the palace ducal and the piazza and some uh, gondoliers right is that's where we arrived when we went and there's the bridge of size right there which that's the wrong placement for that but anyway um, our hotel was actually right next to that but anyway and then of course venice is known for their their um carnival every year so we have a little venetian mass there and this is just one of those miniature um clocks and then a little miniature lamp just to make it look nice and warm. That was some Chanel that I brought back from Paris when I was on my honeymoon to Paris. I brought that back for my mama and you can see she didn't use much of it but that was her favorite perfume so that's actually from Paris. So I don't use it. It's just for looks. And then that's just a Yankee candle. No, I meant this. Is that Yankee? No, that is uh, Bath, and Bo Bath and Body Works. A um, little candle and holder from a couple of years ago, actually. And same here, see how that matches? Little pumpkins, little pumpkins. Matter of fact, I'm not even sure the current soaps would fit in that, which I don't like. I hate when they do things like that. But it's all kind of a copper bronzy look in here. This is a piece from a friend of mine. She got me actually both these pieces. This, um, um, what's it called? It's made in Italy, really? I don't know. But anyway, it's made in Italy and it's very, very cool. And I also put out, besides the hand towels, the little um, guest towels, I also put out the kind that, um, you know, you can use and throw away napkin towels and little turkeys and different. This has got different ones. And I always keep extra, like underneath, I always keep extra um, air fresheners and de uh, towels and soaps. See, there's also some everyday little hand towels that are under there but since it's seasonal right now I have my little fall leaves ones out so some people like to use something no one else has used before and so they they like the paper um, napkin style and other people like an actual tile and the, the re towel and the reason I offer too is so that if you use it you can put it down like over here in the corner that lets the get the owner know they should get rid of that one put out a fresh one because you really don't want people to share towels so always uh, we'll walk in here and check, and I may put out another set of fresh towels. But anyway, so that is how you make um, just a bathroom that's pretty and interesting and um, warm and takes care of all the needs of someone that's coming into your restroom. Um, this is our downstairs uh, bath, and so it's beautiful. It's warm and um, interesting and... That lets them know what time it is. My husband painted this so that it would match the wall and kind of disappear because we actually hate light switches. And sometimes I do put real pretty ones on, but that just actually makes them stand out worse. And all of this can stay seasonal. Like this can go year round because it looks very Venetian or that can look Christmassy. I do add in some um, glitter Christmas trees 
um, right there during the Christmas season. And I will take out that um, pumpkin and leaves and probably put in something looking a little more Christmassy but staying in this color pattern, color palette I mean. So anyway, that is the end of how I make this a very inviting, warm, and comfortable restaurant to be in when you're at someone else's house in my home. That didn't make sense. But anyway, love you guys.